Hi guys, today is the Scrapbooking National Day and I have a special project to share with you. I create this project using the Creative Embellishment Products and Shibor and I'm going to start showing you what I bought. I bought this uh, um, purse, it's a wooden purse at Michael's. I just found it uh, so cute and I want to alter it so the first thing that i'm going to do is uh, trace the shape of the purse in a white paper i just uh, <clears throat> used a pencil and trace the shape and i'm going to cut along all this line with my scissor to have a pattern but of course this is the size of the purse outside and i need to make the pattern of the interior of the purse so I place this uh, paper inside the purse and with my finger I try to mold the paper to the shape and I'm going to use a pencil and carefully I will trace uh, the shape in this pencil to have the exact measure of the inside of the purse once I trace uh, all these four lines no five <coughs> four lines I will use the scissor and cut around of this shape I'm not going to write the, the, the pattern word because I will use this uh, to cut all the pieces uh, to cover the interior and to make the album later I will keep this aside for the moment. I just cut uh, the pattern a little aside for, but for now I will start uh, applying gesso. I want, I'm going to prime all the wooden uh, purse with gesso, with heavy gesso. And once I cover all these, uh, all the exterior of the purse, I will let it dry because I want to create texture but this time I will add a lace to add these textures on the wood I'm applying now gel medium with a brush and I take the lace and carefully I place the lace I use the gel medium as, ad as adhesive if you don't have gel medium you can use any as adhesive that you have especially for fabric you need something strong and once I apply the lace and cover uh, all the surface, I apply again the gel medium over the lace <clears throat> to seal the, the fabric. And the, uh, here in this corner, in, uh, I make a cut and <clears throat> keep on cut the excess of the fabric and adhere the rest. And I apply gel, uh, the gel medium over the lace, like I told you. Uh, to use it as a sealer at this moment and I will continue uh, doing this step I just want to show you how I did uh, one line because this lace if you have a piece of uh, a bigger piece of lace you can uh, make uh, in one step cover all the <coughs> the purse but in my case I have to uh, I have this one this lace that is uh, by jar so I, I cut uh, like three pieces and cover uh, all the front of the of the purse. <clears throat> now I open and once uh, I cut uh, the excess of fabric uh, from both sides of the purse, I'm using my scissor. And once I did that, I will apply a little more in, in these uh, edges of gel medium I, I want to be very sure that this is completely uh, secure and adhe uh, very adhe adhered to the wooden <clears throat> now I will continue adding the rest of the lace I will uh, I cut all the pieces and adhere and you can see here uh, how it looks now that now I take the heavy gesso and apply uh, in, in the interior uh, especially in the corners and in all the edges and now I apply the same heavy gesso to all the fabric the lace in the exterior I will cover all the pores uh, with gesso 
because I want to add paint and mediums and it's good to, to, to have a primer. Now I take uh, this beautiful uh, stencil by Creative Embellishment and I'm using modeling paste to create texture over the lace. I love this design with this star, it's like a star falling because uh, I'm going to create something with faded uh, in this purse so this uh, stars design goes perfect with the theme of my project and I'm carefully put the, uh, the stencil in the sides of the purse and carefully I add more textures in both sides and in on the back of the of the purse too once I apply all these textures, I will let it dry the purse. And here is how it looks. It looks so cute with all these textures. And I'm using my heat gun to dry a little to us. <coughs> now I'm going to use one of the 6x6 six six, uh, shoeboard panels to uh, create a design. And I'm using my uh, scissor to cut uh, the shoe bore and I'm trying to give a shape with this beautiful shoe bore once I have all my pieces that I'm going to use I apply white acrylic paint to all the shoe bores with a sponge it is the easy ways to do it now I will start to adhere all the pieces to the front of my purse and I will start with the first panel because this is uh, the biggest piece so it's the first one that I'm going to add here I made I am making a little of pressure to uh, help to adhere the big shoe board to the purse then I cut the excess with the scissor now I will start to adhere the other pieces like the moon I love the shape of this moon and here is the the pretty uh, fairy so I will add uh, enough uh, adhesive and I play with uh, to I think this uh, shibor is a fairy in the moon or fairy on the moon not sure right now but I will let you the list of all these uh, pieces uh, of this shibor in my blog you can see the full list of supplies now I adhere the wings and play with the pieces she is so cute i love this fairy i add now flowers here with gel medium and i hear everything with gel medium i add also a button a button here and now i take the gel medium and put over the area here randomly in some area that i want to add some art stone over this gel medium it's a fast way to adhere all the are stones and I just use my finger to remove some and to um, make a little of pressure to adhere them to the gel medium then I take the uh, my paint brush with gel medium and I'm going to adhere a few more of the are stones here and there and I also remove some of this over the diamond shape on the chipboard I want to share this area so I play with my paintbrush and, and move them around the area here. I will add also some pearls um, here and there. I just love pearls. Uh, on my projects, I think they give this uh, feminine touch to any project. And I adhere the, uh, the pearls with the gel medium also. Everything is wet, you can see that. Um, I need to put more uh, gel medium because everything is wet and it can move easily then I decided to add a few of glass uh, beads so I uh, did the same with my paintbrush and gel medium I will add some uh, gel mediums here and there I like that the gel medium are uh, very small and you can make a transition between the earth stones and the white space with the gel medium <coughs> sorry then I add a few flowers also uh, near to the handle in the top of the purse here I just need to uh, be sure that they are completely adhered 
and to this area here because it's the handle it will have a lot of movement so whatever you add uh, near to this area it, you need the I also add um, maybe you didn't see but I put a liter of gel medium then I use the heat gun to adhere this area and I'm going to add a few pearls and also I'm going to adhere uh, some art stones and I want to add that you will see soon a, a, a glass bead on the back because the glass bead is a little bigger it, it was hard to put uh, uh, to put it uh, in the front so I, I let it to the back of the purse here I'm adding some of the art stones uh, because I want like a transition between the top and the front of the purse so uh, I, I, I create like a continue to the work uh, on the top of the purse and here is that I add the glass bead in this uh, corner of the purse here and I add the art stones around uh, all this uh, area here once I finish everything and everything was completely dry it's important that to make this step everything is very dry and now i take my sponge with gesso and i apply i am sponging over all this texture with gesso and with the paintbrush uh, i try to uh reach the the uh the deep the deep area that has the all this texture that i can reach with the sponge i take my paintbrush and did it here is when I start to add color and I'm using the metallic uh, the metallic paint by Fina Bear. I just love the translucence and the fact that these paints uh, give to my projects. So I am taking the first one that it, this is like a pink lilac gold color. It's so pretty and I'm just uh, give the first coat to all the the pairs with this color and uh, but I tried that uh, that my paintbrush um, is a little dry if I can say I don't want to uh, to apply you see I, I try to remove a little of the paint over the mat and then I apply the rest uh, to the to the purse uh, okay, I, I decided to add a few more colors and this one, this is a blue gold color and I try to give some accents here and there with this color, not to cover too much, just a, a touch of the blue here and there and just playing with all the colors at this moment. And now I decided to uh, I look for a bright color so I love this pink color and I'm going to start to uh, uh, to give more color to the purse with this uh, pink tone color and I applied to the flowers and to some areas here where are all the art stones it's like a accent if I can say and uh, once I apply, I try to, with this color that is more bright, I try to go to the deep area with our, all these textures. Then I try to make some lines on the back of the purse just to uh, highlight the onions, on, 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 to highlight some of the textures of the lace. So far it looks like that is but at the end I I I I continue changing my mind saying no it needs something more bright so I love this color and I give some uh some area with this blue. Once it this color mixed with the pink you will see that it turns purple in some area and it was uh so much fun when they mix one with other because the colors start to change and the purse looks pink purple um, and turquoise 
but I decided to experiment a little and at the beginning I just take my vintage gold wax to uh, to highlight some textures but at the end I take a brush that the brittles are a little hard <laughs> and you will see what I did I just start in here to add I decided to not nah, let me uh, uh, I don't know I was thinking in this furniture that is like gold and had the whitish effect uh, when they uh, paint this furniture so I was thinking to create something like that that has the um, the metallic look but it still look whitish effect I don't know but you will see what I do I just uh, shame my mind uh, change my mind and decided to uh, add a golden effect on the purse so I took the brush and I will add in some area enough of this color in others a light coat or a light coat of the gold and <clears throat> especially in the handle I will add uh, enough in this area I decided no I want more a metallic look and I need to experiment with all these mediums, so let's see how it looks. Okay, you see now. Yeah, I know you should think it look uh, like a mess, right? Yeah, I know, but I want to. I'm going to uh, give uh, other technique over this wax. And now I take. Uh, let me move this here is how it looks now i take the sponge with the gesso and i'm going to uh, give the sponging technique over all these uh, colors very important guys uh, for uh, before you apply the sponge with the white color uh, it's important that the wax is completely uh, dry okay you should dry the wax and now you can see here how looks uh, the background I just love it because uh, uh, it's whitish but you can see the metallic look uh, on the back of the fabric uh, with the brittles uh, you can uh, penetrate the fabric that has these tiny small uh, holes and the paints go direct to the wooden so I, I am happy how it's turning and I love how it looks over the stencil work because uh, you see it doesn't look very uh, gold but it, I, I can see the, the pinks, the, the blue and a little of the golden effect on the background so fun sometimes it's good to experiment and to play with all the videos that you have so uh, I recommend you that you try this, this is a lot of fun. And now I take my paintbrush and I try to uh, apply this to the areas that is, uh, is difficult to uh, reach with the sponge. And especially in the area that has all the art stones and the beads. So, but now I will continue, I'm continue with the sponge. And here I will do in, uh, in normal speed so you can see here how everything it looks it's hard because i don't know I, i'm having a lot of problem with my camera when it's in movement it's hard to focus correctly but you can see here and then once i finish with the sponging i take my white uh, pearl metallic paint and with a paintbrush i apply this paint to where in some area where are the art stones and they will look like a little tiny pearls i just love this paint uh, the effect that creates over the art stone now i'm going to let it dry uh, my purse and meanwhile i will i will i have the pattern that i made and i use different papers and and I'm, I am covering the interiors of the purse. I just cut two of the pattern in different paper. I'm using the Kaiser Craft uh, collections that has uh, uh, faders 
and I cover the interior I just take my ruler take the measure of the the height of the interior and cover everything with uh, with papers that's the reason that I only apply the gesso to the uh, edges in the interior of the of my purse and I use the bone folder to reach the the corners here and to help to adhere all the papers uh, in the interior and here is the my final step in the interior I also distress uh, all the <coughs> with distress oxide in all the papers in the interior and so far here is my purse I am in love with this cute uh, with this cute purse I'm going to let it dry and now I will show you how I create the mini album for the interior I just take the same pattern and cut two and for my spin I cut uh, a one and a quarter uh, uh, spine for my mini album I'm going to adhere all the pieces using masking tape I think it's easier in that way and I just let the uh, like a one eighth of inch um, between each, each piece here and I'm going to adhere all the pieces with the masking tape it's easier when you are working with a irregular shape like this one that I'm trying to make a mini album with the same purse shape so I'm using the masking tape and I'm adhere all the pieces here here and there and once I have all these pieces I, I will use my bone folder to sure that uh, and to fold here to make eh? you can see here I use my mailing box to create this uh, the cover of the mini album and here is uh, the purse you can see now that it's dry all the colors and I'm looking for papers that look uh, lovely uh, or similar to the colors that I use so I took this paper that is a uh, tornasol if I can say and I cut uh, by half and I'm going to cover uh, the, the mini album or the cover of the mini album with the paper I just I didn't cut with the same shape I just put the, the paper along the, the mini album and use my bone folder to adhere it I used by the way double tape to adhere the paper now I left like a, and a half or three quarter of inch of paper in each side I adhere double tape here and I just uh, fold the paper you see I don't uh, make a pattern for this I just I'm just a covering uh, with the paper and I'm going to cut Texas here uh, in the bottom of the of the purse of the my cover that's the way I did it super easy I don't want anything complicated at this moment and I will do the same in each corner and each size of the mini album now I am covered I am cover the uh, the spine of the mini album I cut a piece of paper I adhere the double tape and I cover this area here of the of the mini album I I need to make a cut here because this shape is weird is uh and you need uh to fold this area very nice so I made some uh, split here to uh to can uh cover um, very nice the mini album I trace now two pieces of this of the same pattern because I need uh, uh, I use one of the paper from the same collections I have uh, uncut along uh, <clears throat> the lines and I have the two pieces and with these pieces I will cover uh, the back of the front and back cover here of the mini album and I'm going to start with all two with these pieces and finish my the cover of the mini album uh, adhering these pieces here and I will cover everything 
as you see here. Okay, I add here everything and now I'm going to start with the difference and shoeboard by creative embellishment. I use my embossing dabber and I apply this to all the shoeboards here. I'm going to use these pieces to uh, decorate my mini album, some of the pages and uh, the cover. And I use this uh, <coughs> embossing powder by uh, Blue Fern Studio and I apply enough of this ivory color or pear color is this one to the pieces. I will give two coats of embossing powder and at the end I remove, uh, I ex remove the excess of powder and I'm going to melt this on the two boards. Once these are ready I will let I put them aside and I'm going to start to decorate the cover of the mini album. I take the same lace that I use for my purse and I adhere a piece on the top of the mini album and I adhere uh, also this rim, uh, sheer ribbon or organza ribbon. <clears throat> I take uh, this uh, paper doily, but it's not a paper doily, it's uh, the doily uh, finish here and adhere it. Then I use the same double tape and put on the back of the cover to adhere and secure the lace and also the uh, ribbon. I want to uh, make a bow with the ribbon in that way I will close the mini album. And here I do this, I did the same in the front of the mini album. I used my double tape to adhere the lace and to adhere the ri uh, ribbon. And I will cut the excess here of the lace. Now I will add, uh, I will secure uh, the paper doily with a uh, hot glue gun I prefer to use the hot glue to uh, when I need to go fast in my projects and uh, now this is the pretty shoe board but I'm going to adhere at, uh, from the papers from the same collection I found this uh, make a wish I think that team go perfect with the fairy that is in the purse so I'm going to adhere this with my tacky glue to uh, to the uh, cover of the mini album I make a little of pressure now I cut out this fairy from one of the paper and I want to add uh, some flower here I have these two blue flower I will adhere one because I want to add uh, a other shoe bar in this corner but first I cut some of the butterflies from the papers and I'm going to start at here uh, one near to the fairy and the other in the top and I'm using my hot gun hot glue to adhere it I just love these collections Now I need uh, something uh, for the corner here and uh, <coughs> I just play with all the pieces and this is the uh, the bow that is from Chipboard and I want to adhere it in the corner here behind the behind the fairy and then now I'm going to adhere the other flower and here's when I add I take uh, my mini look how cute it looks I just love it it looks so delicate and I am hitting now some art stones with gel medium I will add I also add some pearls if you see randomly 
uh, three uh, pearls and I continue adding uh, some art stones. I love the, the texture that it gives to the uh, mini. And once I apply the uh, this, I think that it looks so pretty so far. I'm going to start to create my spine uh, to put uh, all the paper all my paper all my pages and I'm scoring a half and a half and a half because one inch in one inch I cut I, I scoring by half and that is uh, when I'm going to place every page and between uh, one inch I let 380 three eight or one quarter if you want in between each uh, page I don't know if I explain it well but I just uh, score uh, and a half and a half and a half and then lay let like one quarter between one and the other and now I'm start to uh, folding all this and I'm going to adhere the area that have the half inch to create um, to uh, adhere my my page and you can see here I have here um, half and half and I have here one here is when one of the pages will be and I let a uh, space between each one I let like three eight inches but you can let one quarter or and a half depend of the dimension that, that you you need I I made it bigger as you see but now I I'm going to measure and cut uh, yeah my mini album we have four pages it's a tiny mini album and then I'm going to uh, add a uh, double tape here and with my uh, bone folder I had I it helped me to adhere this piece to the to the spine of the cover and here is how it looks with the pages will be here and to make the pages I just use the same pattern again I just fold a paper by half and in the fold I place this pattern and I use a pencil to trace uh, the shape once I trace uh, the pattern on, on the paper, I will cut through the lines, but I will cut like uh, inside the lines because I need that this uh, uh, pattern here uh, is small than to, for the interiors. So it is like one quarter less than the normal pattern that I use at the beginning okay once I cut this I will make four uh, pages similar to this one um, because these are the pages that I will be inside my mini album I will show you how we add here this in each of these uh, and a half uh, marks that I have here I would add uh, a page, uh, one page and I will show you how I decorate my interior you can see here you can have a different idea it is a pocket I make a frame in the next one and I have a lot of fun creating this remember that you can use any shape that you have I hope that it in part inspired you to create something you don't have a, a, a purse you can make with a circular with a with a square, with a star. The thing is that you create something. Well, my friends, I see you soon with other video tutorials. Remember that in the description box down below are the link to my blog, social media, to creative, and enjoy the Scrapbook National Day. See you, bye-bye.